Welcome back to Daytime. Well, I'm very pleased to introduce to the program comedian, actor, writer, extraordinaire. This guy's like a triple threat in so many domains. It's insane. Darren Rose, thank you so much for being here. Oh, thanks for having oh, me. Thank you, you. Get two a people applauding. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So I, I'm, I'm happy that we have you. I know you just got off a flight from LA. So we're, we're yeah. happy to have you recoup a little bit, relax, help yourself to some of the, the Kool-Aid here. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the, the daytime Kool-Aid. Uh, you know, Doing this tour that you're doing, you're going to be performing Oshawa Little Theater tomorrow night, right? Eight yeah. o'clock. Still tickets available, so check it out. Um, Chasing Manhood tour. This yes. is the first stop on this tour. You're in your 30s. Chasing mm -hmm. Manhood. Tell us a little bit about how you came with that theme. Uh, well, it's based on I grew up. Uh, I grew up in Oshawa, um, but uh, I grew up with all guys in my house. My brother and I were raised by my dad. And I didn't quite fit in with their notions of manhood. Like they were, uh, like my brother's an iron worker, and I was a nerd, and uh, and like my dad has very particular ideas about being a man, like punch first and don't drink from a straw <laughs> and stuff like that. And <laughs> they always knew things like, uh, like how to reshingle a roof or how to play sports. And like when I was young, I would work on like my schematics for anti gravity boots. So in some ways, <laughs> I'm still kind of trying to live up to their notion of what manhood is. So. So obviously you use a lot of personal material in your act. It's all personal stories, it's, uh, which I sometimes forget. I'll say like really personal things about like how my brother lost his virginity, and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot your wife is here. Oh, <laughs> awkward. It wasn't with her. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> It's uh, a very traditional view of relationships. It's, yeah, uh, yeah. So, you know, you've toured in other festivals, you know, in the Just for Laughs, the Halifax, all yeah. that kind of stuff, all around the world uh, touring. But you're doing your own, you're headlining. What, what does that mean for you? It's very exciting. Like, I, um, uh, I'm in the midst of doing a tour of the biggest theaters in Canada, all the, like, the 2,700-seat theaters, like Massey Hall and stuff like that, opening for another guy. Uh, which is great and exciting, like uh, playing all the big theaters is fun, uh, but it's, it's fun when it's my name on the door. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah, I don't know. It'll be fun. You're so <laughs> humble, but it's funny because, you know, you have two nominations that you've had for the Canadian Comedy Awards. Now, mm -hmm. one was in 2007, one was tw uh, 2011. The first one was like, you know, Best Newcomer. Right. Now, you're being nominated for Best Male Stand-Up. Yeah. Four years. That's like most people get, you know, an undergrad. Have you, <laughs> have you arrived like, I have in those a, four years? I have years? a Bachelor of Comedy. That's what I've earned, yeah. <laughs> All right. It's official. It's yeah. official. But do you feel like, you know, you, you've earned it that you're now coming into your own as a comedian? Uh, in that group, I'm certainly the new guy uh, in terms of, like, you know, these guys are doing it for, like, 25 years and that sort of thing. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I tell jokes, people laugh. It all works out well. There's, there's no, uh, nobody lies to you in comedy. That's the thing. And yes. you can't lie to yourself because if you tell a joke and nobody laughs, it's really hard to go, they liked it on the inside. <laughs> it's, you, you know how you're doing. So, uh, so it's, there's justice in comedy. So, uh, so I don't know. Do I, yeah, I feel like I fit in that group. Yeah. And, and you know, you're, you're right about that because with, when it comes to comedy clubs, it's like nobody can sense your good intentions. They can't, they can't just be like, oh, that's funny. It's right. like, no, you should be laughing, not saying, oh, that's funny, right? Right, yeah, yeah. Nobody's just like, well, he's nice. <laughs> yeah, if you're not funny, people are like, you leave. You have to get out of here. Yeah. So on this tour, you are a busy, busy man. You're going to be doing nine different cities. You're every, in a different city every weekend. I am. Is, is it grueling? Is it? Are you nervous about uh, this? It's especially grueling because uh, I have to spend the weeks in L.A. So, so you're, I oh, flew wow. from L.A. I got here at 1 a.m. And, uh, and then I fly back on Monday. I do a show in Oshawa, then fly back on Monday, and then fly from L.A. to Halifax on Friday. Wow. It's like four time zones, and then I have to do a show. And it's St. Patty's Day, so that's going to be just destruction. Yes. Because it's Nova Scotia. They, they drink professionally out there. It's, <laughs> I'm just a man. I can't compete. So. <laughs> I'm near mortal. Yeah. <laughs> uh, going into these different cities and different countries and all that stuff, is comedy universal or do you find the, the crowds play a little different? Uh, they play different because I tour in uh, Britain a lot and I played, um, for instance, I did the Edinburgh Comedy Festival uh, in 2010, uh, which part of the show that I'm doing now is based on that. Um, but you do 25 hour long shows, but people are really like focused on the comedy in the UK. People really like watch. Uh, and in 
in Canada, that's less true. People just have a desperate need to order beers in Canada. It's <laughs> constantly, it's, it's the, the only thought people have if they're in a dark room. Like, how can I get more beer? How do I get more beer? Where's the waitress? Yeah, so. I know. You know, Darren this morning when he came in was asking me about beer, so this is why he's bringing it up. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. It's 11 a.m. or 4 p.m. if you're watching the full repeat, but... Uh, yeah, I, I was hoping there'd be beer in this thing. Well, this is my this is my blue Gatorade. I'm gonna keep it real here. My blue which Gatorade. is terrifying. It looks like a like a drink from Battlestar Galactica. You're just like, what is going on there? Well, you know, I am part of their fan club. I'm just gonna <laughs> put that out there. No. Really? So am I. Oh, okay. I thought we were gonna bond for a second. <laughs> I was in Seattle a month ago and they had a Battlestar Galactica exhibit and I ran to it. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. I, I can imagine that. What I mean is, I'm not really a man. Okay, so, which is why you're chasing yeah, that's manhood. That's why I'm chasing manhood. On this I'm tour. still sprinting to Battlestar Galactica <laughs> that's exhibits. Right. Well, we're going to sprint to a quick commercial break, but more with Darren Rose when we return. Stay with us.